Television in the early 1970s saw the emergence of a groundbreaking show, drawing in audiences with its gripping plots and memorable characters. Set in a fictional town, the series quickly became a household favorite, thanks to its talented cast and compelling storylines. What truly sets this show apart? Is it the timeless themes of love, betrayal, and redemption that keep viewers hooked? Or is it the unforgettable characters who feel like family? As you delve into the world of this classic TV drama, you'll uncover a wealth of intriguing facts about the show and its actors. From surprising behind-the-scenes stories to heartwarming moments on set, there's always something new to discover. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your fondest memory or personal experience with this beloved show? Share your stories and reflections below. We can't wait to hear from you. Remember, there's always more to explore in this captivating television series, so stay tuned for further updates and insights. In 1973, a groundbreaking TV show burst onto screens, capturing the hearts of viewers with its gripping drama and unforgettable characters. Set in a fictional town, it quickly became a favorite in daytime TV. During its time, it fearlessly tackled taboo subjects and social issues, pushing the limits of daytime television. It provided a platform for discussing love, betrayal, family dynamics, and societal norms, resonating with people from all walks of life. The show's popularity can be credited to its relatable characters and captivating storylines. Viewers became deeply invested in the lives of the characters, eagerly tuning in day after day to follow their ups and downs. As one of the longest-running soap operas in TV history, it has left a significant impact on popular culture. Its influence continues to inspire countless other shows and has left a lasting impression on generations of viewers. In the world of TV dramas, connections between family and personal lives often make the story more interesting. Let's take a look at some characters from a famous TV show. One actress, Melody Thomas Scott, plays a character who's part of a big family and is also a grandmother. She's linked to twins, James and Charlotte. Another actress, Eileen Davidson, adds another layer to the story. Outside of the show, she works with her niece, Devin Mart, in fashion. They started a clothing line called Femiology, which is doing well. The show's producers are clever too. When one actress, Jean Cooper, had a facelift, they wrote it into the storyline. This mix of real-life events with the show's plot keeps viewers interested. The characters in this show feel real because they deal with things we see in our own lives. It's a lively story that stood the test of time. Interconnected relationships in a popular soap opera add depth to its storyline. Characters played by Eileen Davidson and Jean Cooper are linked on and off screen, creating a rich narrative. The theme song, Nadia's Theme, beloved by viewers, originated from a movie called Bless the Beasts and Children, bringing emotional depth to the show. These connections, both in character relationships and music, make the series more authentic and engaging for viewers. They showcase the hard work of the cast and crew and contribute to the show's lasting popularity. In the 1990s, there were three special broadcasts of a popular TV show. The main character of this show, whose parents came from Jamaica, had a mom who worked as a nurse and a dad who served as a judge in different places. He even worked for the United Nations for a while, dealing with serious crimes during a war in Rwanda. When there was a big health issue called COVID-19 in 2020, the making of the show had to stop for a while. During that time, they showed older episodes instead. After a break, new episodes started again later in the year. Embarking on their own unique paths, Tanya Williams, Melody Thomas Scott, and Tracy E. Bregman all followed their passions to success. Tanya studied drama at Ryerson University, Melody majored in music at the University of Southern California, and Tracy aimed for TV, auditioning for roles like Sammy Joe Dean on Dynasty. Although they didn't always hit the mark, their determination led them to the young and the restless. Their different backgrounds and experiences added depth to the show, making it loved by many. Their journeys teach us that perseverance and passion pay off in the pursuit of dreams. Jean Cooper graduated from the Pasadena Playhouse, specializing in theater arts and history. Tracy E. Bregman altered her name professionally in the early 1980s, following an astrologist's suggestion. A month later, she secured the role of Lauren, Melody Thomas Scott appeared in Dirty Harry, portraying Anne Mary Deacon in photographs. In one scene, her character's naked body was portrayed by Deborah Lee Scott. Melody Thomas Scott was raised by her grandmother, who struggled with compulsive hoarding tendencies. Tanya Williams dedicated her early years to studying the piano and violin, starting at the age of five until 17. One recurring plot device in the series is sending children away to boarding school or out of town to live with former characters, only to bring them back as teenagers later on. 
characters like Victoria Newman, Nick Newman, Billy Abbott, Lily Winters, Noah Newman, and Abby Newman Abbott have all been involved in this type of storyline. Their departures and subsequent returns often add layers of drama and development to the series narrative. In The Young and the Restless, Melody Tomaska, a mother of three daughters, namely Elizabeth, Alexandra, and Jennifer, had a relationship with makeup artist Carlos Yee in the early 1980s. They share a daughter, Alexandra Danielle Yee, who was later adopted by Scott's third husband, Edward Scott. Jean Cooper, who portrayed an alcoholic character on the show, struggled with alcoholism in real life as well. In the halls of her schools, Tanya Williams found solace in quiet moments, shaping her love for ballet. Her dedication and resilience, cultivated through years of training, later guided her into the world of acting. Her journey led her to a popular soap opera, where she merged her storytelling passion with performance. Tanya's path from her school days to the entertainment industry is a tale of transformation, inspiring others along the way. Jean Cooper, best friends with Raymond Burr and Barbara Hale, left a significant mark on the series. Tanya Williams, president of Wilbo Entertainment, oversees productions in Toronto and Los Angeles. Former talk show host Oprah Winfrey expressed admiration for the show, citing Catherine K. Chancellor as her favorite character. This trio's influence shaped the trajectory of the series, both on and off screen. In the realm of entertainment, there are stories that go beyond the screen, weaving a tapestry of connections and resilience. One such tale involves a beloved figure whose impact stretched far beyond her roles in TV shows. She was honored in 2017 with a prestigious award, recognizing not just her talent, but also her significant influence on others in the industry. Alongside her, another actor, deeply influenced by her mentor, shared a special bond, one that went beyond typical teacher-student relationships. Sadly, before her passing, the mentor faced a health crisis, sparking an outpouring of support from fans and colleagues. Despite the challenges, her influence remained strong, continuing to inspire future generations. This story reminds us of the enduring power of creativity and community in the world of entertainment. In remembering those who were part of the show, it's important to honor their wishes and recognize their impact. When Jean Cooper passed away, she chose to be cremated, with her ashes scattered as she wanted. Her brother, Albert Troy Cooper Jr., who also worked in the oil fields, passed away earlier. His role in the series might not have been as well known, but it was still important. Eileen Davidson, who is related to Dick Van Patten, and Pat Poole is also part of the cast, bringing her own style to the screen. These personal details give insight into the lives connected to the series, adding depth and truthfulness to it. Through their stories, both on and off screen, the heart of the young and the restless shines through the lives of its cast and crew. In 2013, a beloved actor from a famous TV show passed away just days after her final appearance. She was 84 years old at the time. Also, back in 1993, she got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for her work on television. Another person from the show, a lady named Tracy E. Bregman, is not just an actress. She's also a mom to two boys, one born in 1991 and the other in 1996. These stories give us a peek into the lives of the people who made the show memorable. In the bustling city of Birmingham, England, Tanya Williams dove into the lively culture, soaking up its rich history and vibrant streets. It was a pivotal time for her, filled with new adventures and memorable moments that would shape her future. Meanwhile, Tracy E. Bregman shares her birthday with Lisa Welchel, known for her role in The Facts of Life. Tracy comes from a family deeply rooted in the worlds of music and acting with her parents making their own mark in those fields. Both Tanya and Tracy have found success in the entertainment industry, especially on The Young and The Restless. Their stories show the importance of talent and perseverance in reaching your dreams. Their journeys, though different, are connected by their determination and passion. These stories, along with many others in entertainment, continue to inspire audiences worldwide. In the stories of Tanya Williams and Tracy E. Bregman, we see the power of following your dreams and never giving up. Their experiences remind us that with dedication, anything is possible. And that's the tale of Tanya and Tracy told with simplicity, but with the same message of hope and determination. In the realm of television dramas, there are characters who leave a lasting impression, not just through their performances, but also through the stories they tell. Take for instance, a duo whose journey on screen resonated deeply with audiences. Their portrayals weren't just performances, they were windows into the human experience. One of them, despite not having a contract for over 10 years, remained a significant presence in the show's storylines from 2001 to 2013. She skillfully portrayed her character, leaving a strong impression on viewers. Her on-screen charisma, 
and powerful performances endeared her to the audience, ensuring that her character's influence extended beyond her formal contract years. The other faced personal challenges, including the loss of both parents at different points in her life. These experiences shaped her into a resilient and captivating individual, traits she seamlessly integrated into her portrayal on screen. Throughout her time on the show, her character became an integral part of its narrative fabric, navigating various relationships and story arcs with authenticity and depth. Their contributions to the show were profound, leaving a mark on the hearts of fans. Their dynamic portrayals, coupled with the rich storytelling, created a lasting impact on the world of television dramas. Their characters continue to be celebrated and remembered fondly, reminding us of the power of storytelling and connecting with audiences. In conclusion, the narrative journey crafted by these remarkable individuals stands as a testament to the talent and emotion they brought to the screen. In the world of daytime TV dramas, there are fascinating connections that go beyond what you see on screen. Relationships between actors often extend off screen, shaping the stories we love. These connections create a rich fabric of intertwined tales and friendships. For instance, one actor, Gene Cooper, not only played a significant role on the show, but also served as a mentor to a fellow actor named Tracy E. Bregman. Their friendship lasted for over 30 years, showing how close bonds can form in the world of TV. When one actor, Michelle Thomas, passed away, another actor named Sienna Goins seamlessly took over her character's role, ensuring the story continued with grace and skill. These connections and relationships are what make shows like this one so beloved. They leave a lasting impression on viewers and actors alike, showing the power of storytelling and the bonds formed through creating compelling narratives. The influence of Gene Cooper and others goes beyond the TV screen, leaving a lasting impact that will be remembered for generations. It's a testament to the enduring legacy of these actors and the connections they forged both on and off screen. In Happy Birthday to Me, Melissa Sue Anderson stars alongside Tracy E. Bregman, who portrays Ann Tomerson. Interestingly, Tracy's character features prominently on the Blu-ray cover, holding the cake with a movie's title written on it, while the outer cover depicts the iconic image of the character who meets his demise via shish kebab. However, lifting the outer cover reveals the real cover featuring Tracy. Eric Breeden received the Federal Medal of Honor from the President of Germany for promoting a positive and realistic image of Germans in America. Eileen Davidson is currently collaborating with co-author Bob Randesey on her second book as part of a two-book deal with Penguin Paperbacks. The first mystery novel, Death in Daytime, is set to be released in fall 2008. The initial one, 747 episodes of the series, each lasting half an hour, set the foundation for the young and the restless. However, a notable shift occurred on February 4, 1980, with episode 1, 748 marking the transition to a one-hour format. In anticipation of its 50th anniversary in 2023, the show organized a contest. The winner, accompanied by a guest, received an exclusive invitation to a special party commemorating the milestone. Additionally, they were granted a VIP tour of the show sets and a two-night stay on a beach island. Notably, Eric Breeden, a familiar face in the series, has connections beyond the showbiz realm. He is the brother-in-law of Bob Crane and Sigurd Valdes. The Young and the Restless has seen its format evolve and celebrated its 50th anniversary with a unique contest, providing fans an opportunity to partake in the festivities. Meanwhile, Eric Breeden's familial ties add an interesting layer to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the show. Gene Cooper, though not an original cast member, appeared in nearly every season of the show, with only a few exceptions. In late January 1981, her friend Beverly Garland filled in for her due to illness. She was also temporarily replaced in six episodes in August 1986 and in October 2011 due to her own health issues, returning to her role later that year. She was a prominent figure on both daytime and primetime talk shows, being the first soap opera actress to achieve such widespread guest appearances. The show holds the distinction of being the first U.S. soap opera and daytime program to be shown on HDTV. From its origins in small-town America to its evolution over 50 years, the show has remained a captivating force in television. In a bold move, it integrated real footage of a character's facelift, surprising and captivating viewers. This milestone 50th anniversary episode, aired in 2023, celebrated the show's journey with a special opening sequence, honoring its characters and stories. With every scene, the show continues to leave its mark on television history, shaping popular culture. Its impact on storytelling is undeniable, solidifying its place as a groundbreaking series. 
In the world of dramatic television shows, there's a character known as the Dark Knight who's played by Eric Breeden. He's become a well-known figure, grabbing viewers' attention with his mysterious personality and interesting storylines. Another important person in this interesting world is Tanya Williams, who's been organizing the Real World Film Festival since it started in 2001. Over the years, she has worked hard to promote diversity and inclusion in the industry, making a strong impression on the festival scene. Then there's Jean Cooper, who, although she was nominated for a major award 10 times, only won twice. Nonetheless, her presence on the screen was huge, shaping the story of the show and leaving a lasting impression. These individuals, each in their own way, have added to the rich storytelling that defines dramatic television. Their performances and efforts are still loved by fans all over the world, reminding us of the lasting power of storytelling in various forms. In 2007, Eric Breeden received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for his work in television. The event took place at 7021 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California. Many of his co-stars from the show attended the ceremony. Jean Cooper, known for her diverse ancestry including English, Scottish, Irish, Cherokee, Welsh, and French roots, was a starlet for Universal International in the 1950s. In 1973, Eileen Davidson began her career as a model in Mexico City and California before transitioning to acting, having appeared in commercials and print work in Europe. Eric Breeden, known for his roles in various productions, including The Rat Patrol, had roles in other projects such as the movie 100 Rifles and Lady Ice. In the same year, Breeden made consecutive guest appearances on two different series, both starring Lee Majors' Owen Marshall, Counselor at Law, and The Six Million Dollar Man, Wine, Women, and War. This was highly unusual for the time, with one actor appearing on two different active television series simultaneously. The appearances were within the same week, with the first on Wednesday and the second on Saturday, both shows produced at Universal Studios and broadcast by ABC TV Network. The Six Million Dollar Man show was initially a made-for-TV movie that preceded the series. In the world of a popular TV show, there's often more to the story than what meets the eye. One detail that many might have missed is the China pattern sipped from by a beloved character for years. It was a subtle touch labeled heirloom by the brand Royal Albert. One memorable off-screen moment happened during a special birthday bash. The celebration marked the 80th birthday of a cherished actress who played an important role on the show. Attending her milestone celebration were several co-stars along with her son. Another cast member brought a unique energy to the set. Being the youngest among her siblings, she added an interesting dynamic to the ensemble. These glimpses behind the scenes offer a different angle on the lives of those involved in the show, showcasing the bonds and personal connections that enrich the stories told by its characters. In the 1980s, Jean Cooper attended a fundraiser in Natchez, Mississippi, accompanied by her former co-star Michael Damien. Tanya Williams, whose father served as one of the Chief Justices for the United Nations International Criminal Tribunals for Rwanda from 1998 to 2004, has a notable family background. Long before Doug Davidson and Michael Damien joined the cast, they were both enthusiastic fans of Gene Cooper, having watched the soap since earlier years. In 2003, Eileen Davidson welcomed a baby boy named Jesse Thomas, who weighed eight four-pound ounces at birth. Christopher Douglas faced termination from his role in July 2001 amid a power struggle between head writer Kay Alden and executive producer Edward Scott. His character was subsequently portrayed by David Lee Rusek. The show featured themed episodes such as Catherine Week, Nikki and Victor Week, Rivals Week, Winters Week, Villains Week, Abbott's Week, Romance Week, Weddings Week, Emmy Week, Chris and Paul Week, Hottest Summer Week, Baldwin Fisher Week, Fan Favorites Week, Newman Week, and OMG Week. In real life, Jean Cooper found herself in a funny situation where her character had to pay money to get Michael Damien's character to make a video. It was funny because she didn't know much about rock music. Eric Breeden impressed the famous producer Cubby Broccoli, who made James Bond movies. Broccoli wanted Breeden to be the next James Bond, but he changed his mind when he found out Breeden was German. Tanya Williams did more than just act. She also worked on the Toronto Film Board for a while. These stories show that actors have interesting lives outside of acting. They show how talented and dedicated actors can be, even when they're not on screen. Several actors, including Eric Breeden, have familial connections or shared roles in both The Young and The Restless and other TV shows like The Rat Patrol. For instance, Eric Breeden is the father of Christian Gutigast and the uncle of Scott Crane. Additionally, six other actors have appeared in both The Rat Patrol 
and the young and the restless Steve Franken, Mark Tapscott, Frank Marth, Michael Evans, Paul Stevens, and Carl Bruck. Another interesting detail is that Gene Cooper's character on The Young and the Restless shares a birthday October 25 with the actress herself. Following the transition to a one-hour format in 1980, the show underwent significant changes. This shift led to the recasting of several main characters as contracts were initially structured for a half-hour show, not an hour-long one. Consequently, the original core families were gradually phased out in favor of new ones. Initially titled The Innocent Years, the show underwent a transformation over the years. In 1983, actress Velika Gray took on the unique challenge of portraying two distinct characters simultaneously. She portrayed Patty's psychiatrist, Dr. Sharon Reeves, alongside the character of Ruby, a hotel manicurist. Remarkably, these characters were involved in different storylines and shared no scenes together, showcasing Gray's versatility as an actress. Such creative decisions added depth to the narrative and kept audiences engaged as the show continued to evolve. In the world of TV drama, some actors really stand out. For instance, Eileen Davidson did something amazing in 1998. She got nominated for an Emmy Award for playing five characters at once on Days of Our Lives. It was a big deal in daytime TV. Now, let's talk about Eric Breeden. He's been in some interesting interviews where he talks about his career. It gives us a peek into what it's like for him without going into too much detail. Another important person is Jean Cooper. She came from a simple background. Her dad worked in oil fields and her mom took care of the family. It's where she started before becoming a big name on TV. These stories show how different actors have shaped the young and the restless into what it is today. Each actor adds their own story, making the show interesting and fun to watch. Did you know that sometimes life has some surprising connections? like when two famous actresses not only share the same birthday, but were also born in the same year. It's like a fun twist in the story of life. One of these actresses, let's call her Jean, found her love for acting when she was just in middle school. She got involved in a play, and that sparked something special inside her. She decided to pursue acting with all her heart. Now, here's a quirky detail about Jean's life. She actually dropped her first name, Wilma, when she was in fifth grade. It's funny how little decisions like that can shape your future. Jean made a big name for herself in Hollywood. People loved watching her on TV, and she became a familiar face in many households. Her journey in the entertainment world was filled with ups and downs, but she never gave up. When you look at Jean's life, you see how passion and talent can take you places. She inspired many aspiring actors and actresses with her story. In the end, Jean's life story is like a colorful quilt made up of different experiences and moments. It's something to be remembered and celebrated for years to come. So, next time you hear about Jean Cooper, remember the fascinating journey she had in the world of entertainment. It's a story worth knowing, don't you think? Melody Thomas Scott, mentored by the late Jean Cooper, has had a significant influence on her acting career. Eric Breeden, formerly known as Hans Gudegast, adapted to using his stage name Eric professionally while retaining Hans for personal circles. In 1976, the young and the restless theme song, Cotton's Dream, gained fame when App's Wide World of Sports featured it during a montage of Olympic gymnast Nadia Komensai, renaming it Nadia's theme to reflect the association. In the early years of The Young and The Restless, the show witnessed the notable presence of Jean Cooper, whose familial ties extend beyond the screen. Cooper, known for her portrayal on the series, is the mother of Corbin Burnson, Colin Burnson, and Karen Burnson. A pivotal casting decision shaped the course of the show when Tracy E. Bregman, originally auditioning for the role of Patty Williams, caught the attention of William J. Bell. Impressed by Bregman's acting prowess, Bell, and then writer Sally Sussman Marina decided to create a character specifically for her. Thus, the character of Lauren Fenmore came into existence, a role Bregman has adeptly played for three decades. Melody Thomas Scott, another familiar face from The Young and The Restless, has a connection beyond the set. She shares a friendship with Katherine Hicklin, showcasing the camaraderie that often extends beyond the on-screen drama. These interconnected relationships among the cast members provide a glimpse into the personal bonds that complement the scripted narratives of the young and the restless. Before Eric Breeden joined the show in 1980, he often played characters who were older than his actual age by 10-15 years. His ability to take on roles beyond his years showed his versatility and acting skills. Baseball Hall of Fame shortstop Cal Ripken is a notable fan of the series, showing its broad appeal across different entertainment areas. Gene Cooper's performance received special praise, especially from Roger Dobkowitz, who singled her out as the only genuine actress on the show. 
He compared her authentic portrayal to what he thought was overacting by the rest of the cast. Cooper's portrayal added depth and realism to her character, earning her respect from the industry and audiences. The Young and the Restless has kept viewers hooked for decades with its interesting characters and engaging storylines. The show's ability to attract talents like Breeden and Cooper speaks to its long-lasting impact in the world of daytime television. With each episode, the show continues to unfold drama, romance, and intrigue, holding the attention of audiences worldwide. Jean Cooper, known for her role in The Young and The Restless, experienced significant events throughout her life. Her ex-husband, Harry Bernson, passed away in 2008 at the age of 82. Cooper shared a close friendship with Anna Lee, and interestingly, Lee received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame just seven months before Cooper. Additionally, Cooper's mother, who qualified as a teacher, specialized in teaching agriculture. These details shed light on the personal life of a notable figure in the entertainment industry. Gene Cooper held a prominent role in the series for 40 years, appearing in nearly every episode except for brief medical leaves between 1981 and 2011. She was a fixture on the show, embodying her character with consistency and dedication. During Michael Damien's introduction as Danny Romilotti, it was Kay Chancellor who financially supported him to produce a video, not Gene Cooper, who had no interest or knowledge about rock music in real life. Tanya Williams, born at Weir Maternity Hospital in London, England, contributed her own unique flair to the series. Each of these individuals left a lasting impact on the show's narrative and its audience, shaping the course of its long-standing success. Eileen Davidson originated the role of Ashley Abbott in 1982 and became immensely popular. When she left in 1988, producers hired a look-alike actress, Brenda Epperson, to ease the transition. Despite her departure, Davidson's popularity endured, leading to her return to the show 11 years later. In January 27, she left due to lack of storyline, only to join the bold and the beautiful on the same day as her final appearance on the show. Jean Cooper attended the College of the Pacific and Civic Theater in Stockton, California. Additionally, she made a cameo appearance alongside her former co-star Victoria Roll on an episode of Roll's series Diagnosis Murder. In a surprising turn of events, a much-loved character from a famous TV series faced a sad event when she, played by Jean Cooper, passed away in May of 2013. Her departure really affected the show's story and left fans all over feeling deeply sad. Even though she's no longer on the show, people still remember her character fondly. The Young and the Restless, known for its interesting stories and lively characters, handled the loss well, paying tribute to the special presence she had on screen. Cooper's acting made a big impact on the show's history, making sure that people will always remember her character. Throughout its long history, The Young and the Restless has had some pretty surprising moments. One of the saddest events was when the character Catherine Chancellor, played by Jean Cooper, unexpectedly passed away in 2013. Fans were really upset by this sudden loss. Catherine Chancellor was a big part of the show for a really long time, and her death hit both the characters in the series and the viewers hard. It left a gap that everyone felt. Even though it was tough dealing with Catherine Chancellor not being around anymore, her memory and influence still stick around in the hearts of fans and in the show. People remember her story, and it's an important and emotional part of the young and the restless. In the beginning, the show suffered a sad event when one of its much-loved actors, Gene Cooper, passed away unexpectedly in 2013. Cooper played a very important character on the show from the start. Her sudden death left everyone on the show and its fans very sad. Her absence was deeply felt in the series. However, the show found a way to remember her by including her character's death in the story. This allowed viewers to share their grief with the characters they cared about, 